everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone and welcome to my craft room. I'm so happy to have you here today and before we get started, be sure that you are subscribed, that way you don't miss out on any of the fun content we have coming. Today's tutorial is one that you guys asked for as soon as 143 Vinyl released this product. They have released glass snow globe tumblers. These are tumblers that come with a pre-drilled hole so that you can add your glitter and your liquid to these and then decorate the outside. Now these are not sublimation mugs, these are for vinyl, but they're really, really cute, super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to make your very own. We're gonna be using StarCraft glitter, some UV resin, you will need some Flex Seal waterproof tape, or they have a Gorilla waterproof tape that I find works just as well. You can also use some vinyl to decorate it, but you don't have to. Now, one thing to keep in mind too, is you'll also need some distilled water and vegetable glycerin. I will link everything that we're using down below for this project. That way you can find everything super easy. I also highly recommend using a chunkier glitter versus a fine. The fine glitter does seem to clump a little bit too much where a nice chunky mix seems to keep it much more of a snow globe style where it actually moves around. This is so fun and I can't wait to show you how to make it, so let's get started. We're gonna start with the tumbler from 143 Vinyl. These do come with a straw, but I have those um, put away. So they come wrapped in bubble wrap, which if you're somebody who's gonna ship out, recommend hanging on to the packaging. And then they also have a little plastic around them. I'll pull it out so you guys can see. And then we do have a bamboo lid. So this is the cup that we're working with. And it has a pre-drilled hole to make adding your glitter and your water and glycerin mixer a lot easier. So for this, I'm gonna be using this really pretty green. This is the uh, Chunky Mix Limeade from StarCraft. And then I have water. This is distilled water. I have a squeeze bottle. And then I also have vegetable glycerin. This I got from Amazon. I will link everything that we're using to make this down below. You are also going to want some painter's tape to place around the edge of your cup for when we put the glitter in. Now I know that this is gonna hold about half a cup of water. I did put some water in one when I tested and it's about half a cup. So I have a quarter cup of distilled water and then I will do a quarter cup of vegetable glycerin when we get to that point. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take my tape and I'm going to lay it down. Now this is definitely like a lot of tape, which is fine. And I'm gonna do two kind of rows of this. And all I'm gonna do is kind of place it over itself, just a little like lip. And that's just gonna make this tape wider because I don't have any wider tape right now, so this'll do. And I'm just gonna press those two together. I'm not super worried that they're not super together down there. Now another trick you can do is take another piece of tape and put it so that sticky side to sticky side is together and that's gonna keep your glitter from sticking to your tape, so it'll kind of save you some glitter. Now what I wanna do is I'm going to place this tape around the outside of our cup. Now it does not wanna keep sticking to my hand here. And I'm just gonna take it and place it around the bottom of the cup, just like this. I like to lay the cup kind of down. I don't know how well you guys can see that, so let me move this up a little bit. I like to lay the cup down like this, and I find that works better for me to place my tape on it. And then I just kind of lay the tape down. I'm gonna rip off this excess right here just cause we don't really need it. And then I'm just gonna take this piece and lay it across here. Now this is not perfect. Like I don't care that it's not perfect. I just need a little bit of a barrier to keep the glitter from getting everywhere because it can get pretty messy when you go to put your glitter in and then i just do the non-sticky side so that less of the glitter sticks to the like inside of the rim here we'll still have some stick stick but it's not too bad another handy tool to have is a weeding tool and i actually do recommend the hook tool for this not just the pin pen this is definitely a hook tool situation so what i'm going to do i'm going to use this really cute lime aid and i do need to open it now you can put some cardstock down on your table if you want to. I don't really care if the glitter spills. So I'm just gonna kind of open it over the top of the cup. 
because these have like a foil top now instead of just a paper. So I will use my little hook tool and I will punch through the um, foil, but I'm gonna tap off all the glitter. It's kind of on the foil. And then I'm just gonna punch through the foil and go ahead and take that off. And then they do have a little piece of paper in here that you're gonna wanna take off as well. But I'm gonna, again, gonna tap off some of that excess glitter and then I'm gonna pop the paper off. Go ahead and place your lid back on and then what you wanna do, and I don't pour a ton to start, you just pour a little glitter to start. Like that looks like a lot, I promise you it's not. And then I tend to just like shake the cup and see if I can get a lot of it to go in, which it's gonna take a while. This is the part of the process that does take a little bit of time. And then you can use your weeding tool to kind of help push glitter in because you can see how well that works. It works really, really well. You can get around the edge and kind of pull that glitter up, any that didn't stick, and get that to go inside. So this part will take you a little while, but don't worry, just kind of keep working at it and you'll eventually get enough glitter in. So I'm gonna speed this part up just so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this for like forever. Um, but I will tell you, you're going to need about three to four inches of glitter. Just kind of depends on how much glitter you want, but you don't want to put too much glitter in because that can actually ruin your cup. So you can see I'm kind of going around the edge and picking out some of the glitter out of that. And then I'm just sweeping it in to the cup. And then once you kind of have a pile, you'll just kind of shake it so that it goes down the sides. Can you see how it's going into the cup now? Do you see the glitter in there? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing that process and when we're done, I will come back and show you how much glitter we have in and then we can move on to our next steps. So now that we've gotten all the glitter in, you can see it all sitting there at the bottom of the cup. I'm gonna take just like some random makeup brush and I'm just gonna try to get the rest of the little bits that are kind of on the top here into the hole. And we do have some stuck around the edge of the tape, which is totally fine. I did end up putting a piece of cardstock down um, just because I was afraid I was gonna make a big mess once I took the tape off. So you can just see I'm just gently brushing along the edge here, just trying to get all of the glitter in. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just see if I can pull out any from the tape. And I've got a pretty good pile, so I'm gonna just tip this a little bit and see if I can pull any of that pile out and then just brush that in. All right, I think that's pretty good. I am gonna lose some glitter, but I can put some back into the jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my tape off and anything that doesn't stick, I'll put right back in the jar so you can see it all kind of falling out, no big deal. Like I said, I'll just place what comes off back into our jar. <laughs> I'm not really worried about it. It does, this is messy. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, you are gonna get glitter on yourself you're gonna kind of get glitter everywhere. I still have not perfected not making a giant mess when doing this. It's fine, I don't care. I, you know, it is what it is, welcome to crafting. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of the paint or the painter's tape off of this. And then we'll take our makeup brush and we'll clean the glitter off the sides of this over the cardstock. So I'm gonna set this back down, kind of get this painter's tape off of me. And then I'm gonna take my makeup brush and I'm just gonna run it all over the cup like this. And this just really gets the glitter off pretty nicely. Any of like the excess that's stuck to the sides. Now don't worry, we are gonna clean this up a little bit more before we do anything, you know, too permanent to it. So we'll get any excess glitter off that just happens to maybe stick to it. But this is just kind of the first initial cleaning that you can do to it, just so you don't get glitter everywhere. So that looks pretty good. I think we're pretty clean. I'm gonna just tap the cup a little bit, make sure there's no glitter stuck. And then what little bit that did go on the cardstock, I can save and put right back into our jar. So I'm just gonna tap that a little bit and I'm gonna pour it right back into my jar. So I have my vegetable glycerin and my distilled water and I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of vegetable glycerin to a quarter cup of water. So it is a 50-50 mixture. So I'm just gonna pour this in until I get to half a cup. All right, we are at half a cup. 
So now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you stir this in really well. You want them to combine really, really well. Now it will eventually start to look a little bit cloudy. See how it's kind of getting cloudy? It will clear up as you mix this in. So go ahead and give this a really good stir. Once you've mixed that really well, what you'll see, see how nice and clear it is now? It's not cloudy. That's how you know it's really well mixed. I'm gonna give this a minute to sit and kind of work the bubbles out and then we will put it in. Next thing we'll do is we'll put it into our squeeze bottle so it's easier to put into our cup. But first we'll let this sit just a minute. I'm gonna have to voice over this part because it didn't record um, my sound, but the squeeze bottle was an absolute disaster because this is a different one than I normally use. So the tip of it was not fitting inside of the hole. You need an item that will fit actually down into the hole. And this one wasn't, so every time I tried to fill it, it would just spill everywhere and just make a really big mess. So I was constantly having to wipe it off. I got some in, and the key is that first little bit of water you get in, water glycerin mix, you wanna let that sit for a while because you want the glitter to soak up a lot of that liquid. If the glitter doesn't end up soaking up that liquid, once it does and you're done making your cup, you're gonna end up with a big air bubble or you're gonna have glitter that doesn't move at all. So it's really important that you fill it a bit, let that glitter soak it up for a while, then come back, fill it some more, let the glitter soak again. And you wanna do that process a couple of times. You'll see that I do that when I put the syringe in, which works way better. You guys know that I keep it real on this channel. Let me just tell you, the squeeze bottle was making me very annoyed because like I said that's a different one that I normally use couldn't find the one I had so I'm going to use a syringe instead do not laugh at me this is the one we use for my cat's medicine but I will say the syringe does tend to work better because it goes inside the hole instead of outside like the squeeze bottle so it's really good to have something that actually fits into the hole at the top and then I like to kind of splash the excess off of the top before I put my next syringe in. Now this does take a while, like my squeeze bottle with the one that actually fits, takes way less time, but this works great. Like it'll totally work. You just have to take your time. And I would just say find what works best for you, a syringe, a funnel, a squeeze bottle, just do what works for you and the way you want to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another syringe in and I'm gonna shake this up a little bit because like I said, I want to make sure that the water is penetrating through the glitter. Now I do have a little bubble on top, so I'm going to go ahead and push that out. All right, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the top off really quick just to get some of the extra vegetable glycerin off because I hate touching it. It's gross. I'm going to take it, I'm going to cover the hole, and then I'm just going to kind of shimmy it around a little and shake it up a bit. And I'm just going to kind of turn it a couple times, like twist it around a little. I don't want to fully like flip it upside down, but I just want to make sure that that glitter is getting kind of into like the vegetable glycerin is getting into the glitter. Now I will say the whole outside of my cup is just gross feeling from the vegetable glycerin. I hate it. Now we do have a bubble starting, which is perfect because it's getting into the glitter. So I am going to let this sit a bit and I'll probably shake it again, but I'm going to wipe it off again with a with an alcohol wipe. I just hate the feeling of this stuff. It's so gross. I don't know if it's just me, but like, ugh, I just don't like it. It just feels slippery and slimy. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling this. Like I said, throughout filling it, go ahead and turn it and twist it and shake it up a little bit. Make sure that that glitter is getting the, the vegetable glycerin into it. That's really important because if it's not getting that water mixture inside of it, it's gonna end up not moving. It's not gonna make any like cool like movements. Like it won't look like it's moving a lot right now because I can't turn it and really shake it up, but we will get there and it will be so cute when it's done. I've got quite a bit of the liquid in here. So what I wanna do, I'm taking just an alcohol wipe, but you can kind of use whatever, covering the hole and I'm gonna turn it because I wanna see how much of a bubble I have and look how big that bubble is. That's telling me that I don't have a lot of liquid in there yet. I still need to finish filling up my liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. And you're gonna to want to make sure that this is really filled. You don't want it spilling over the top, but you do want a little, just a little bubble. Not a bubble that's that big, that's like half the size of the cup. You want like maybe a tiny, I'd say like half an inch of air bubble. Because if you don't have an air bubble, it won't be able to move. So that's something to consider because if you don't have that little air bubble in it, 
it's not going to be able to move the glitter at all. So now you can see I still have a really large air bubble. So we're going to keep putting a little bit more liquid in. I am going to take some out of this guy. I did underestimate the amount of liquid that this cup would take. Um, the other one I did took a little bit less. So just kind of note that you're going to want to maybe make a little extra of the vegetable glycerin mixture when doing this because this is going to be a little bit more than a full half of a cup. So I'm just going to go ahead and slowly add some more liquid into the bottom and I'm going very, very slow now that I have um, the thing pretty much full because like I said, I don't want to spill over the top and it is hard to tell kind of how full it's getting once you get really close to the top. Now that might be just about where I want it. So let me, because there is quite a bit of spillage over the top. So that's telling me that I've probably got it about where it needs to be. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. And see, now I do have an air bubble, but that's fine. You want a small air bubble. I think I want a little bit less of an air bubble than that. So I'm gonna reduce it a little bit more. And so all you're doing is just adding liquid. Now, this very last couple of ads is going to be a little bit harder. See how it kind of splooged out some glitter that time? What I recommend is if it's doing that, make sure to kind of turn it back over and try to shake some of that glitter out of the area where you're filling from. And you can just give it a little shaky shake like this and that should remove a lot of the glitter from where you're trying to put in your liquid. So I'm just putting just a smidgen in and I'm just gonna let it sit a second and kind of let those bubbles um, that I just created dissipate because those are taking up some space for where we want to put our liquid. So this is a process. It does take some time. It does take some practice. This is only the third one I've done and it's still not perfect, but we're getting there. But this is going to be the general gist of how you do it. So you can see like I'm going to tap around my cup a little bit. I'm just kind of trying to work some of those air bubbles up towards the top. I just want to kind of make sure to get any of that air all the way up here because I think the air bubbles right around in this area right here and like I said have some alcohol wipes paper towels available because you probably are going to end up with a little bit of spillage when you do this but see I can see some air bubbles coming out with this so I do just want to give it another moment or two to relax, hang out, work through those air bubbles, and then we'll finish filling it with a little bit more liquid, just a little, and then we'll come back and we're going to sand the top, get ready to seal it, and we'll be good to go. I've let the cup sit overnight just to kind of make sure any of the, you know, air bubbles or anything were gone. And all I'm going to do is I'm using some leftover sandpaper from my little, like, belt sander thingy and I want to sand around the hole and I want to do that in order to allow the tape which is this flex seal tape to have a good place to grip to so this is actually a 60 grit I think so this one's a little extra gritty but it'll be fine so you just want to give it a good sand all around where you're gonna put the flex tape. That looks pretty good, I think. I don't think it looks too bad. So I'm going to grab a wipe. And again, I'm just using an alcohol wipe. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off and we're gonna let that dry up a bit. And you can kind of see all that gritty dirt that came off of there. And while that's drying, I'm gonna move that over to the side and we are going to use flex tape. This is their strong rubberized waterproof tape and this is clear. You can find this at Amazon, Home Depot. I'll link a couple places to get it down below. But this stuff is fantastic for these. Super easy to use, super sealy, waterproof, all the things that you need to make sure that your cup isn't going to leak. I'm just going to use a pair of scissors to cut out a little piece of this. This stuff is real sticky, really gooey, and it's kind of rubbery feeling. Like you'll see it feels very thick and heavy. Love this stuff though, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna cut kind of a big chunk off of here and put that over there. Now this does have a coating on it. So it's got like a double-sided like protective coating. So one side is sticky. 
So you're gonna peel that off after you have cut out your shape. Now you'll see the beginning part is sticky. I wouldn't recommend using that um, as your sealant piece just because you wanna make sure that this seals really well. So I'm gonna pull the cup back in because we don't want it too big of a spot, but we want like just enough to cover the hole plus a little extra. Now you can cut this into a circle if you want to. You can really do it however you want. I usually will just kind of cut a square and then just cut the corners off of it a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're really not going to see it once you put the UV resin on. Um, I have seen other people use like hole punches and stuff. I don't have a hole punch. So we're going to go with what I've got. Now this is still a little damp so I am going to let this uh, dry off a little bit and then we'll come back and get the little sticker part on. Once that is fully dried off, you wanna make sure it's really, really dry. I want you to take your little flex seal tape and you're gonna peel off the backing, which like I said, not always super easy because it is like so sticky, but we definitely want super sticky. So you'll notice that one side is frosty, one side kind of felt more plasticky. That was where our tape was, the protectant. So I'm gonna lay this down. Like I said, you wanna make sure that this covers the entirety of your hole. And I'm just gonna press this down first with my finger. Then I highly recommend that you come in with something more blunt to press it down with because you wanna make sure you get a really good seal. Now I'm gonna use my bone folder. You don't wanna use anything sharp that might cut through the tape, but you do wanna use something that you can really get in and around there. And I wanna thank the Flynn sisters for this one because I never would have thought about just using like a bone folder or something a little more blunt to press this down. Now you'll notice that it does flex hence flex seal. So what I do, and I've done this a couple times and it worked really well, is I take the blunt side of my bone folder and I kind of pull the edges out a little bit. And I found that that gave me a really, really good seal on the edges. So I'm just gonna go around and really press this down, really making sure that this is on here excellent. Now this is a waterproof tape, so I, you wouldn't have to worry about any of like the water that's right here damaging it. But you do want to make sure to press around that hole really well and make sure that you have a very good seal. Now I am going to test this for leaks because we don't want it to leak out of the tape. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to shake it up and shake it around a little bit and just make sure that nothing is leaking. Now I do need to clean the outside of my cup again. I can feel that vegetable glycerin still on there, but I'll do that before we add any vinyl. So you see that I'm shaking it in all the different directions and we are fully dry. So I'm confident in that dryness. So we're gonna move on to our next step. For step number two, you're gonna need a UV light and some UV resin. Now you can use a two-part epoxy as well if you choose. I don't like to use epoxy, so I'm gonna stick with the resin. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take some resin and I wanna put it over the tape little section. And I'm gonna use my little stir stick and I washed it really well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push the resin around a little bit. I wanna make sure it's all over the tape, but I also wanna make sure that it's all around the outside. Now some people will sand the entire bottom of the cup. I actually do that after the first one because I've sanded around where the tape goes pretty well. So I will usually sand down the first layer of UV resin just because I'm not great at getting it like fully smooth all the time. I like to do the second layer a little bit thinner and so I'm going to give this one a little shaky shake. I just want to kind of give it the option to settle itself so I kind of do it like this and it'll usually settle pretty well on its own. The next thing that we're gonna do is cure this UV resin and to do so all I'm gonna do is I have a UV light and I like to do about 90 seconds on this guy so I'm just gonna hit my little 90 and hold this over there make sure it's on and we're gonna go ahead and cure our uh, UV resin. Now that I've got that first layer of UV resin down it's good and solid good to go. I, like I said, I do give a little bit of a sand to it. I don't do much and I wanna make sure that I do get around like the edge of the cup here, but I don't sand it too much. I just give it a little swirly swirl all around it just to kind of smooth it out so that our cup is gonna sit smooth. We will put another layer down, but like I end up with a little like bigger piece right here. So I do like to just sand it down just a little 
just to rough it up, make sure that that UV resin is going to have a good place to stick to when we put the next layer down. Once your bottom is nice and dry from wiping it off, we can go ahead and put the last layer of the UV resin down. This is just going to allow us to have a nice, safe seal, a nice, smooth bottom, all the things that you want when you're going to make a cup. So I'm just going to kind of swirl some UV resin around. Now you want to make sure that when you're working with UV resin that you don't do this near like an open window with bright light because it will cure your resin as you are trying to put it down. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this resin and I want to go all the way to the edge. I don't want to go over the edge, but I do want to go all the way to the edge with this. And you'll notice that this is going to be a thicker layer of resin in certain spots because I want to make sure to even out the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and look at it from the side and just sort of move that resin around just to make sure that we're going to get a nice even coverage. And I want to go all the way around, just making sure that everything looks smooth, professional, really nice and neat, and making sure to cover up any of those spots that I sanded a little bit just so that it nice, looks nice and smooth again. Now I'm gonna give this just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and do this a little bit and I'm just gonna give this a second so that it can actually go ahead and set up and it's going to kind of level itself out as we wait. Now I do see a little spot here that I wanna just push a little bit of resin into. There's just a little low spot right there. So I'm just gonna kind of move a little bit of resin over into that. But otherwise, I think we're looking good. So I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. Let that kind of even itself out. And then from here, we can put down our um, UV light again for about, this one I usually do for about two minutes. All right, we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and set this. I'm going to go ahead and cure this for about two minutes. We're almost done curing. So all I do is I just hold the light over it. It works fine. Little flashlights will work too, the little UV flashlights. Those work as well. But now we have this nice cured bottom here. I let this one go for about two minutes. Now, like I said, I do need to wash this cup just because there is still like vegetable glycerin goo on it. Um, so I'm gonna take it upstairs. I'm gonna give it a good wash with just some Dawn dish soap. But for right now, let's take a little shaky shake and I'll show you guys how it looks. I think it looks so cool. It is so fun. Really cute. I love the color. That green is gorgeous. So let me go ahead, get this washed up really well, and then we can apply our vinyl to it. So I cut out an offset and my name out of one of my patterns, and then I did put a overlay on this so it does have a little bit of a shimmer just for fun. So what I'll do first is I'm going to go ahead and layer the vinyl. And then we can put it on our cup, which I did wash. And I just washed that simply with some uh, Dawn dish soap. I didn't do anything too special to it. Just washed it with a little bit of Dawn and it got all of the uh, vegetable glycerin off because that stuff does leave like a little bit of a film. So you wanna make sure that you do give your cup a good wash before you apply your vinyl. And then I did wipe it with some rubbing alcohol. So here's our cup, super fun. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on top of one of my squeegees. That's just gonna kind of keep it flat and straight. And you know, first thing we'll do, let's go ahead and layer these. So I'm just gonna layer this over the white, which is incredibly hard to see. I would love to lie and tell you that this is simple, but because it's white on white, a little hard to see. This is an older batch of um, Starcraft, so it is on the white backing. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel that off. This should peel no problem. Maybe not. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this off. And actually, this is Style Tech, so I was wrong. This is Style Tech Craft. That's why it is on a white background. So now let's bring our cup back in. So like I said, I did wipe this off really well with some rubbing alcohol. Now for me, I find that turning the cup this way does help me get a name like this when I do it sideways, a little more straight. So all I'm gonna do is just lay that down and you can do any design that you want. You don't have to put a design on your cup. You do whatever you want with your cup, but I thought I'd throw my name on here just to kind of, just add something to it. A little bit of fun with the snow globe tumbler. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel off my transfer tape and voila, our snow globe cup is all done. I'm gonna get you guys a really good view of this with all the glitter moving around in it. It's a little hard to do it from the side.
I wanted to show you a much more up close visual of our cup. Now I will say you shake it around a little bit and you can see how much this glitter moves around. It's so pretty, so fun. Now you will have some that will float to the top and then you will have some that will settle on the bottom. I do also wanna show you the bottom. You can see the tape a little bit, but it's really not that noticeable. So I think it's great. And these are just so fun and so easy to do. And you can see the little air bubble that's in there. That's gonna help the glitter move around. That's why you really need that air bubble because it will loosen up the glitter and keep it moving. If you don't offer that air bubble in there, your glitter is not gonna move. So you don't wanna fill it all all the way to the top. I also want to show you our vinyl that we put on there. So pretty. This is one of the gem mine vinyls from my line and then I did add some overlay with the um, holographic overlay. It doesn't pick it up very well on the uh, camera but it is really pretty in person. If you guys have any questions about this or any of the other crafts please let me know in those comments down below. Look how gorgeous and I just love this color. I think it came out really really pretty. I hope you all had so much fun checking out how to make your very own snow globe tumbler. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always happy crafting! Thank you.